create user accounts. Create a new local user account. Open user account tool. Start control panel user accounts. And okay, and go to control panel. Okay, control panel. Here, uh, user accounts. And click manage another account. Manage accounts. Add a new user in PC settings. Okay, uh, user accounts. Click here. And uh, manage another account. Click here. This is your current account, but click on add a new user in PC settings. Click here. Add someone else to this PC. Okay, click here, add someone else to this PC. How will this person sign in? Okay, how will this person sign in? I don't have this person sign in information. Okay. Uh, enter the email address or phone number of the person you want to add. Okay, but I don't have this person sign in information. Okay, click here. Now let's create your accounts. Add user without a Microsoft account. Create an account for this PC. Uh, new user account, name it user1 and next. Okay, uh, let's create your account. Windows Office Outlook. Okay, uh, add a user without a Microsoft account. Click here. Create an account for this PC. Okay, uh, use any name. Okay, for example, for Joseph Smith, the user account can be J. Smith. Okay, or for or for Bill Goldberg will be B Goldberg uh, or for James Rodriguez should be uh, J Rodriguez. Okay, but in this case the example is user one. Enter a password. I will use uh, user one. User one. User one. Okay, this is the password. Okay, next. In case you forget your password, uh, one security question one. What is your third pet's name? Uh, user one. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the city where you were born? Okay, I will use this only for the example. What was your childhood nickname? Okay, and the user, the password, and three answers in case you forget your password next. Okay, now you have the new account, user1. What type of user account did you just create? Click here on user1. 
click here and now you can see this is a local account and with no administrative privileges log into the newly created user account it should be successful okay click here and sign out for the current uh, for the current account username and password to login okay now you can see uh, here click here you are uh, you are user one okay this is the user one account environment navigate to see users folder right click the user one folder and select properties and then the security tab okay go to uh, explorer and this pc c and go to users and on users you have the folders for each user this is for zero miro this is for public this is for the new account user one right click properties and go to security tab security tab which groups or users have full control of this folder system the group of username system the group the group system has the full control of this folder user one select user one and has the full control of this folder and also the group of administrators have the full control of this folder okay this is a group system user one is a user an account and administrators is a group which groups or users have full control of this folder system group user account administrators group open the folder that belongs to cyberops user right click to the folder and click the properties tab okay and close this this is the this is the administrator uh, folder zero mirror in your case may vary but this is the uh, folder of administrator try to enter you don't currently have permission to access this folder and continue so you need a password okay now uh, right click on this folder properties security tab okay and humans have read permissions to view the properties of this object okay uh, were you able to access the folder explain and uh, you don't have permissions to access the fold this folder okay. user one doesn't have permissions to access this folder log out of user one account and log back in as cyberops user or administrator user okay and close this and sign out okay username and password of administrator account and now navigate to see users folder right click the folder and select properties click security tab which groups or users have full control on this folder okay go to this pc see 
uh, users here click and right click on the administrator folder properties security tab which groups or users have full control of this folder okay system full control zero mirror the administrator full control administrators group full control okay so the answer is uh, system group zero mirror account administrators group close this review reviewing user accounts properties control panel administrative tools computer management okay control panel administrative tools uh, go to system and security administrative tools computer management double click here local users and groups click users folder local user and groups click users folder right click user one and select properties okay access to users double click okay and this is user one the new account right click and select properties properties and click member of tab click member of which group is user one is a member of okay is member of users and in my case also member of remote desktop users but in your case will be only users users group okay the answer is users group right click to the account cyberops user and select properties which group is this user a member of okay and close this click on administrator account in my case is zero mirror in your case the name may vary right click properties member of tab and this user is member of administrators group administrators group so the answer here is member of administrators group modify uh, local user accounts change the account type control panel user accounts manage another account select user one close this close this go to control panel user accounts user accounts manage another account select user one click here on user one and change the account type change the account type okay change the account type select administrator and click change account type 
now the account user one has administrative rights. Okay, by default, uh, now this user is a local user, a standard user, but you can change to administrator. Okay, administrators have complete control over the PC. They can change any settings and access all of the files and programs stored on the PC. So click on change account type. Okay, very nice. Now it's a local account with this administrator. Control panel, administrative tools, computer management, local users and groups, users, right click user one, properties, member of tab. Okay, go to uh, control panel, system and security, administrative tools, computer management, go to local users and groups, click double click on users, go to user one and right click properties, member of tab, and look at this. Now, it's member of administrators group and users group. Which groups those user one belong to? Administrator, administrators group and users group. Delete the account. To delete the account, right click user one and select delete. Click OK to confirm the deletion. What is another way to delete a user account? Okay, you can do this, uh, close this, uh, user one, right click, delete. Yes to confirm, and I will use no in this case to show the another way. Okay, what is another way to delete a user account? Okay, go to control panel, user accounts, user accounts, uh, manage another account, user one, and delete the account. And do you want to keep user one's files? If you want, delete all files of the user or keep files of the user. I will delete all files of the user and delete account to confirm. Okay, very good. May take a while. Uh, now you you will have only one account, the administrator account. And uh, why is it important to protect all accounts with strong passwords? No password or weak password can allow access from almost anyone to steal data or or use the computer for unauthorized purposes. Why would you create a user with standard privileges? Okay, a standard user cannot compromise the security of the computer or the privacy of other users. Thank you very much.